Hello and welcome to Lore of the Cards, the series that looks to find the lore hidden in your Hearthstone deck. Let's flag down Chromie for a ride to the Caverns of Time and travel all the way back to Hearthstone's creation, as that was probably the last time this card was relevant in any capacity. Hang on a second, what's that in your deck, curator? <laughs> He has returned! The inspirational, well-organised and mentally stable leader that will no doubt be the key to the curator's victory. Ah well, I guess it's back to obscurity for you my orcish friend, but let's give this well-worn veteran the lore episode he deserves. Just as a minor content warning, this video will contain some swearing. The art of the card is by Phil Gonzalez, an artist hailing from the USA, currently working as a character artist on Heroes of the Storm. Gonzalez also created many of the base models for StarCraft II. The Raid Leader is the only piece of Gonzalez's work to currently make it into Hearthstone, and like many of the classic Hearthstone cards, the art was originally used for the Warcraft trading card game that preceded it. In the trading card game, Raid Leader was Rise to the Challenge, a card that boosted the strength of a player's hero, healing it to full life, drawing a large quantity of cards and giving a player's hero 10 additional hit points. A hugely powerful but expensive card. The art shows an orc surrounded by yellow light, which is the animation used in World of Warcraft to show that the player has levelled up. Upon levelling, players in Warcraft become stronger, more HP, strength, etc, and a return to full HP. So this card was a great representation of this in-game occurrence. I'll tell you what it's not a great representation of, a raid leader. Now for many of you that play WoW as well as Hearthstone, this will be like teaching your gran how to suck eggs. Is that a common phrase throughout the rest of the world? I don't know, rule Britannia, etc, etc. In WoW, there is content known as instances, which include, but are not limited to, raids, dungeons and battlegrounds. These do not occur out in the world, they require a player to head through a portal to enter this content. It's kind of like a mini world within the world of Warcraft, shut off from other players not in your group. So now Alliance are going to waltz into your dungeon and kill you while you're questing there. Unless of course it's a battleground, because the whole point of these is to kill each other in a controlled environment, equal teams looking to be the first to achieve an objective. Dungeons are PvE content player versus environment, which can be experienced for any players level 15 or above, five people teaming up to defeat enemies they couldn't possibly do alone. A raid is the top tier endgame PvE content, requiring even larger groups of max level players teaming up to beat the hardest challenges the game has to offer. So the raid leader couldn't possibly be the leader of a raid, he's only just levelling up, which at best means he's about to attempt his first raid. Filthy casual. When WoW was first released, raids would require 40 people working together in order to take down Azeroth's greatest villains, like Ragnaros and Denixia. As time has gone on, the number has been reduced, raids being able to be completed by groups of 10 or 25 players. The toughest challenge, Mythic Raids, are for groups of 20. This was probably for a number of reasons, making it easier to get groups, or perhaps to give more creative freedom for raid encounter design. For some, raiding became serious business. Guilds in WoW hungry to get the world's first kill on certain raid bosses. For all the effort, loot was scarce, so systems needed to be implemented to stop raid members arguing over the best loot. Some players became the guild's designated raid leader, and with this they took on a lot of responsibility. Raid leaders needed to know raid encounters intimately, give instructions to help others understand the encounter, give orders during the fight, and also make sure that 40 people logged on at the same time on a designated day to take on the content. A task far easier said than done. Sometimes the pressure of being a raid leader would get too much for some players, and it is one of these moments that inspired the flavour text and the voice lines of the raid leader card. There are good and bad raid leaders. Good raid leaders fulfil all their roles and keep the other members of their guild motivated to beat the next big challenge, represented in the raid leader mechanic, buffing friendly minions. Bad raid leaders can turn let's say a little abusive when things aren't going their way. Fuck! And with that, Lore of the Cards can no longer be considered a family show. This recording was taken during a raid group's unsuccessful attempt to take out a Nixia and vanilla World of Warcraft, and is cited as being a perfect example of a bad raid leader. 
It all starts innocently enough, the raid leader explaining the tactics of the fight, splitting up the groups to best deal with the whelps that Anixia summons. Well, I say innocently, it's not long before he tells them to listen the fuck up and threatens his DPS with a loss of DKP if they get themselves attacked by the whelps. The currency reference in the cart's flavour text. That's a fucking 50 DKP minus! DKP stands for Dragon Kill Points and was a system created by players to designate endgame loot. The system was invented in 1999 by Thought from the Guild Afterlife while playing EverQuest, when the game's two big raid bosses were dragons, Lord Nagafen and Lady Vox. Players were awarded DKP for attending raids. Due to changes in WoW's loot system in raids over the years, this system is rarely used now, if at all. After more instructions, laced with swearing, our mighty foul mouthed hero leads his troops into battle. It's during this part of the video the raid leader says the now immortal words. Now hit it very hard. But things start to go wrong and a member of the raid dares to speak on voice chat. Well, crush him was fair and serious. Who the fuck was that? Crush him? What the fuck? Welps, left side, even side, many welps. Now handle it. Ah, and another immortal line is born, and not long after that, they fail. The raid leader isn't too happy, and if you want to listen to the whole thing in all its swearing glory, there will be a link in the description below, you lucky people. Just a little tip for all the kids out there, if you want people to play games with you, don't be like that dick. So, there you have it. What a raid is for you MMO newbies out there, and the original raid leader that inspired the flavour text and voice lines of the raid leader card. While this wasn't exactly lore, I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless and got something from it. If you want to be a part of the Six Gamers raid, you should hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video around to recruit more members. There's some sweet DKP in it for you. Of course, if you can't handle it, you can always hit the dislike button. I've done my best to credit the artists in the description below, so please do check them out. If you want to keep up to date with Lore of the Cards, you can follow us on Twitter, at The Six Gamers, and Facebook, forward slash Six Gamers UK. Until next time, happy hearthstoning. <laughs>